Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel. God bless you, my people. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you once again, my beautiful people. Yes, guys, um, Edo State is on the news. Uh, Edo State um, is uh, is top, 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 top. Why? Because it's just um, seven days to the governorship election election just um, a week from today next week saturday september 19th is the date slated for edo state governorship election right now guys the news we're getting as regards to the edo state governorship election is that edo indigents in the uk have sent a strong warning to president Mohammed buhari not to interfere in the forthcoming election we know very well that uh, a while ago, after um, um, the incumbent governor, Godwin Obaseki, decamped from the All Progressive Congress to the People's Democratic Party, Buhari um, um, urged, he was speaking to the All Progressive governors. He told them that they have to do whatever, do all you can to ensure that you win back a dose state. Because as it speaks now, a dose state is a PDP state because Governor Gordon Obaseki is uh, of the People's Democratic Party. So it's PDP until September 19th when we'll find out um, who is the winner. So, but however, Buhari gave that um, strong statement and um, that statement did not really sit well. Nigerians um, reacted and stated that what does it mean by do all you can? So you're stating that if they have to rig, if they have to manipulate anything they have to do, let them do it. It was quite shocking. And not, not long after that, other allegations came um, regarding uh, um, APC working together with INEC in order um, to um, play some manipulation or, or also rig the election. So Buhari has got a hand in all of this, and that is the federal mind they've been referring to. Right now, um, Edo indigents in the UK, in the United Kingdom, they have sent this strong warning to President Mohammed Buhari. We hope that um, he would hear and he would listen. Anyway, my people, we'll bring you all of the details, all of the things from um, the Edo indigents in the UK, what they've stated. We'll bring them to you shortly. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up, my people. Click on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and bring all of the details. Some Nigerians of Edo extraction resident in the United Kingdom have appealed to President Mohamed Buhari not to interfere in the forthcoming Edo state governorship election, saying that the electorate should be allowed who to govern them amongst the candidates. The group made the appeal on Thursday when they visited the Nigerian High Commission in London. According to the spokesperson of the group, Dickin Henry Olovba, Edo indigent in UK, are disturbed by the heated atmosphere over the governorship election in the state. They thereby handed over a petition to the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson with copies sent to the Nigerian ambassador to the UK at Nigerian High Commission in London demanding for a free, fair, credible and violent free pool. Speaking on behalf of the group outside the Nigerian High Commission on Thursday, Olovba said, this is a call from every well-meaning Edo state indigent across party divide to think of the lives of their loved ones before politics. No political ambition of any man is worth the blood of another. We, the Nigerian citizens of Edo state extraction, resident in the United Kingdom, are appealing to the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and other world leaders to appeal to President Mohamed Buhari to allow Edo state indigents to determine who governs them. The interference of an external agency in Edo state election may be a recipe for disaster and likely loss of innocent lives, which will be a costly mistake. A taste of how bloody this interference will be was felt on Saturday 25th July when the state ruling party visited the Oba of Benin at the start of their campaign flag off. Thugs unleashed mayhem on guests, destroyed vehicles, and shot sporadically in the air. Another bitter scenario was the reported attack on the state's main opposition party in Edo North during their campaigns. We don't want a breakdown of law and order in our state. This is not about party loyalty, rather loyalty to life. We are asking the British government and other world leaders to appeal on our behalf to the federal government of Nigeria to allow Edo people to decide who governs them. 
Let Edo decide. The newsguru.com TNG reports that the governorship election scheduled to hold next Saturday, September 19th, is fiercely between incumbent Governor Godwin Obaseki seeking a second term in office on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, APC. So guys, um, it's really getting interesting. So we can see very well that it's not only um, those of us in Nigeria here that are interested in this Edo state governorship election. There is more to it. Um, the Edo indigenous in the UK, they've sent this strong warning to President Mohamed Buhari. And as a matter of fact, they even wrote to the Prime Minister of uh, um, the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, sent a copy um, to the ambassador to UK at the Nigerian High Commission in London as well, demanding for a free, fair, credible and violent free pool. So they're asking Boris Johnson to, on their behalf, uh, um, 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 speak to President Mohamed Buhari as well, not to interfere, not to get involved. Fe this federal mind we've been talking about is from the presidency. There's no federal mind backing anyone. I do like if I do like are uh, uh, given the opportunity to choose their leader. I believe that uh, everything will go peacefully. The thing is that is when uh, um, uh, people begin to see it have in interference and federal mind and all of those things, those things result to violence. We do not want such. Let a uh, do like be given the opportunity. Even INEC have stated it uh, some time back that um, governorship election is a, is a time, is an opportunity where indigents and residents, they decide, they choose their leader. So let a uh, do like, let them be left alone to make decisions. Let there be no interference ferrous from anywhere outside of the state federal minds they should not get involved we can see the news we got earlier on today is that uh, even the security agencies within the state they are doing all they can to alert residents of um, how prepared they are ahead of the election how um, prepared they are to secure lives and properties everyone coming out to vote so this one we we hope we hope buhari we heed to this um, warning to this plea from um, Edo Indigens in the United Kingdom. Guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. We really do appreciate you. God bless you. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up, my people. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.